We have our security expert, Ed Davis, on the phone now. And, Ed, as we look at some of these images from San Bruno, you see some of the employees coming out from the headquarters, hands up, police frisking them. Give us some idea, if you can, as to what's happening there on the ground and how police are sort of uh, making their way into that building and what they're doing. Hi, David. Uh, well, this is uh, what you're seeing is part of the protocol of police follow. Um, as we saw in Parkland, the suspect managed to to fit in with the crowd and, and make his escape. And uh, so everybody who comes out of this building has to be checked uh, to see if they're in, involved in the, uh, in the incident. At the same time, the police officers are, are uh, uh, frisking uh, people coming out to see that they have no weapons. There are other officers inside the building attempting to develop leads as to what the shooter was wearing, what uh, their physical makeup was uh, so that the officers on the perimeter have a better idea as to who they're looking for. If you would, Ed, too, in these early minutes of this investigation, give us a sense how, A, how police are coordinating with one another and how they're trying to contain a potential scene that from these pictures uh, appears to be very large. This is a special problem that we have. Uh, when, you, when you are in these enormous companies, I, I was just in one, doing an assessment recently and you know the run hide fight criteria that's that's taught is sometimes um, y you have to drop the run part of it in such a large building and just think about sheltering in place uh, so people really have to think about ways that they can lock themselves in so that no one can get in uh, to their to their safe space when you you know you, you talk about uh, uh, rooms that are uh, reinforced and uh, uh, you, you, that you can flee to or something like this is happening. So, so right now, um, the, the officers responding uh, are, are operating under something called the National Incident Management System, or NIMS. And uh, that's been taught to all police and fire agencies uh, after 9-11. Everybody's on the same book and page as to who the operation commander is, uh, most likely the sheriff in that county. And uh, everyone is lined up answering to that sheriff. And that's true for federal, state, and local respondees to an incident like this while it's breaking. If you're just tuning in, you're looking at live pictures from San Bruno, California, at the headquarters of YouTube, where there are reports of an active shooter. Police confirming that portion so far. Very few details coming out. We have Ed Davis on the phone with us right now. And as we look at these pictures, Ed, it's interesting. We are no longer seeing the police cars sort of zooming into the area. It seems oddly quiet at this point, although we have no information that anyone is in custody. Uh, is it strange how quiet it seems right now? Well, it's, it's an indication of, uh, of command and control of, of the location. So uh, there's something going on there that we don't know. It might be that the shooter is in custody. It might be that the shooter is... Uh, isolated to a particular area of the building and uh, is surrounded by officers. Uh, but when you, when you see that type of a movement from the chaotic arrival and, and running around to try to determine where the suspect is to, to the situation that we have now, it's an indication that uh, it's stabilized in some way. Now, that, that doesn't mean the threat is over. But, uh, but it looks like uh, it's being handled properly. All right. Ed Davis, we so appreciate your perspective, uh, especially when there are so many questions right now. Again, uh, if you're just joining us or if you're looking at these live pictures, uh, this has been reported as an active shooter situation. There are victims that have been taken at San Francisco General Hospital. This is at YouTube headquarters south of San Francisco in San Bruno.